Mayor McGillis, that was a very busy night here at South Stormont Council. There were a lot busier of people night. in attendance. Yeah. Busier night. How do you deal with a situation like tonight where you had the, the petition, you had Deputy Mayor Hart's motion that she was trying to change? Um, how, how do you keep your composure when situations like that? Well, I've always wanted to take the high road. I mean, uh, uh, there was uh, quite a few people here uh, that were here to understand, try to understand what the facts are mm -hmm. in terms of this uh, the, the, the newspaper that we are looking at advertising, which is yours. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard, I, I tried many times to explain to the presenter that you can't, you know, bring up things that are that's defamatory or slander to, about any individual or public uh, entity, council, or anybody that's, um, you know, council members or staff even. I mean, you're there to explain what your facts are, bring them forward, and not to get personal. And that's what happened, you know, I had to explain to him, you can't, you can't do that. I mean, no mayor in, in any municipality would allow any of that. I mean, we have to protect ourselves as well. So I think I've done a fairly decent job trying to explain uh, to Mr. Courier that, uh, you know, that's in fact is how we, the policies and procedures are. And how do you deal when people are presenting such false information, like there was no loan, there was no startup monies, it was no. just an ad buy? Well, I tried to explain that to him. I mean, the council was sitting there, and it's, the, the motion clearly stated it was only for, for advertising. The discussion at budget clearly stated we clearly stated it was only for advertising purposes only. Mm -hmm. um, there's two papers, not just the, uh, the uh, South Stormont News. It was another paper uh, that uh, we, you know that we said we'd advertise for too, but nobody had any objection about the other papers. Just one, so it became a personal issue. And you know, as the mayor and as chair of the South Stormont. I don't, I think that we have to do everything we can to uh, give anybody a chance to start up any business and, we, you know, we said we'd, we'd support it. The rest of council thought it was a great idea. It's going to be a traditional paper, as you said, mm -hmm. and... Uh, it's already live. It's already live. Yeah. And so, De Deputy Mayor made this new weird statement today about it having to be properly accredited and everything. I believe the Seaway yeah. News is one of your biggest advertising outlets and it's been around for over 25 years. It's not a signatory to the press council, which is what she was referring to. The, the standard freeholder is, but um, certainly the radio is not part of the press council. No, so, not. I mean, you know, and as far as getting accurate numbers, I mean, there, there are methods used for accruing numbers like in radio where they extrapolate a big number from a small number. It certainly isn't anywhere near um, accurate. It's, it's an abstract. Exactly. I 100% agree. I mean, we actually advertise $13,400 and, and change uh, with the Seaway News because, you know, you, you can't advertise enough. I mean, we have, such, we have a budget. We have to balance things. I mean, you can't put it, and they were saying, well, take that money and put it in, towards infrastructure. Well, why weren't they saying taking that money away from other news outlets and put it towards infrastructure? They weren't, it wasn't, they weren't being rational yep. in their concerns and what the requests were. Um, I think that uh, it's important, again, that we advertise as much as possible. Like I talked about the CIP again, it's the Continuous Improvement Plan, and you know, we had many people come over and, from businesses and uh, residences, and we have weaknesses and strengths, and they talked about different things, so what we, how we're going to promote and pr improve things that we do in the municipality, and one of which was to, we, we weren't advertising enough, and yeah. we weren't marketing enough, so, I mean, we don't have an economic development officer, um, and we're hoping that uh, the lady that we hired in, in the planning will will dip into that and, uh, you know, promote the township in a, in a bigger way. I know I've done a lot, uh, you know, working with businesses and that, but uh, I think we all have to work together to, to achieve the same goals. But uh, yeah, it's, um, they were, the people that were here, some of them were here because of information that was misleading, mm -hmm. and they were misguided. Uh, I mean, we were there, Mr. Courier said it was my opinion. It was not an opinion, it was a, it was a fact. I mean, all the rest of council was here. It sure and, seemed like defamation. Well, you know, opinion, no. I was here and I said to him, he was not here. So mm -hmm. how can he deny what I was telling him? Um, I told him, I said, you know, it's very simple. I mean, council made a decision. We have to abide by the decision. You can't, like under the code of conduct, uh, conduct, conduct is that you have to, whatever the vote was, you work towards making that happen. You don't go run out and, and tell people false information to get 
uh, a bunch of people on your side yep. and then attack counsel. That's not that is that's, that's not following the code of conduct or procedural bylaws and. Deputy Mayor Hart made a statement in her in one of her many issue letters to the editor where she said she's not accountable to counsel or the integrity yeah, commissioner. Yeah. Is is that even remotely true? Well, how can you be accountable to the ratepayers if you're not accountable to your counsel? How Who are elected be, by them? Pardon me? Who are elected by yes, them? Yes, correct. Yeah. But how can you know I guess I you know, the Deputy Mayor can speak for herself. I can't speak for her. But um, I found that very, very strange in a in a big way. Um, you know, it's, we're trying to win a game here, if you, if you will, and it's hard to win a game, say for hockey. You can't have somebody shooting against your own net, your own player. I mean, you've yeah. got to work towards um, a goal where you're gonna, the team's going to work together. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to push that on council, and the rest of councillors, you know, I'm very, very fortunate, and, and uh, I encourage them and thank them for their support. And we have a great staff. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I commend them as much as possible. But uh, you know that all being said, and you know the, some of the hiccups that we ha have to endure is very time-consuming. Um, it takes a lot of our resources, a lot of cost, uh, just just for you know one person not following the rules. It's it's, it's very uh, it's very distracting. Yeah. So I think that uh, the rest of council is um, kind of tired, and you know they need they need this to stop. They All want right. this to stop. Thank you, Mayor McGillis. Okay, thank you.